Hello, my name is Esther Park, and in this video, I will share easy steps to create an interactive Jamboard template and show you some examples and ideas for using Jamboard as a collaboration tool. If you are new to Jamboard, check out my tutorial on Jamboard basics in the description below. There are many different ways to use Jamboard, but I love, love using Jamboard as a whole class or group collaboration tool. This platform allows students to simultaneously interact with each other and the content that I create on a Jam. To use it as a collaborative tool, you will need to adjust the sharing setting to anyone with the link can edit. One way to use Jamboard is to use Jamboard as a whole class task. This Jamboard activity was done as a whole class where all my students were given the editing power and they were on this Jamboard frame together. And students were able to easily insert images and words that make them feel sunny and cloudy. You can also do a word search competition where each student picks a different color marker tool on Jamboard and recreates a simple word search into a highly engaging game. A shared Jamboard or a whole class Jamboard can also be used for independent work. I usually create one Jamboard for an entire class and assign a frame number for each student. As you can see in my example, if you expand the Jamboard frame bar, you will be able to see each student working on their assigned frame. For example, I see Danielle is working on frame five and Lisa is working on frame six. Instead of making separate copies for each student, creating a shared class Jamboard helps create a sense of class community while working independently or in small groups. Also, as a teacher, you can easily track students learning in one single document. Now I'm going to show you how to create an interactive Jamboard. I usually create my Jamboard background template in Google Slides. Just because Google Slides has more of a variety of features, shapes and colors and fonts, which are features that Jamboard doesn't have. So I am in Google Slide and I'm going to create a simple cause and effect graphic organizer template. Now, if I want to use this template as a Jamboard activity, I usually leave a little bit of space around the borders for drag and drop images and text boxes, which I will be adding later on in Jamboard. Because unlike in Google Slides, the outside of the Jamboard frame area cannot be used if you want to add images or text manipulatives. So I'm going to select all by pressing Control A I'm going to reduce the size as well as reducing the font size. One little tip I want to give you to make your shapes or font pop is the drop shadow option. Again, I'm going to select all the shapes and fonts here by pressing Control A. Right click, click Format Options and you want to click the box next to the drop shadow. And you see the shapes here getting a little more of a visual pop and texture to it. Once the basic template is finished, you will need to download the template as an image file. To do that, go to File, Download. You can download this as a JPEG image or a PNG image. I'm going to download it as a PNG. Next, we're going to go to Jamboard. I have a blank demo Jamboard open here. 
and Google just released the insert your own background image feature, which has become a game changer because it will lock the image background so students aren't able to accidentally delete or edit the template. Now you want to insert the image template that you just downloaded from Google Slides. Go to set background, click add image, and I'm going to simply drag and drop my image file here. Notice that the image is locked and I am not able to edit or click the image. The next step is to add interactive pieces, or I call it virtual manipulatives. You can do this by inserting an image from your desktop or simply Google searching an image. Click the image button. You can drag your own image or I usually Google search an image and usually when I add images to my Jamboard, I like to add images with a transparent background. So I'm going to search rain clip art transparent or transparent background. Search that. I like this one and click on it and insert it to my Jamboard. I'm going to drag it to the bottom. Now here you can insert a sticky note with pre-filled sentences or even sentence stems so learners can drag and drop to the appropriate places or even your students can add a text box to fill in the graphic organizer. You can differentiate and provide different levels of scaffolds. For example, I'm going to extend this frame bar and click the three dots, duplicate this, and go to frame number two. For example, I want my students to add their own text and find their own images. If you would like to do that, I'm going to delete all of these. And you can either add a text box also add an instruction for my learners to add their own images i'm going to quickly do that by inserting a shape and the directions these are some examples of Jamboard activities and templates that I created. I shared some of these templates for free on my website, mrspark.org, so check it out later. First idea is a virtual four corners activity. You can write a controversial statement related to your content matter. Students will click on a sticky note, write a rationale, and drag the sticky note to a corner that best represents their stance. Next is a quick attendance and social emotional learning check-in. Students can double click on a sticky note, write their names, and change the sticky note color to their current mood. You can create listening practice such as this one. Students can listen to my directions over a video conferencing platform such as Zoom or Google Meet. They will click on a car, drag it as I say my direction. For example, I will say, start from the yellow arrow, drive down the main street, make a right turn on second street. You will see the drugstore, on your right, go down the second street and park your car next to the bus station. You'll be able to see your student's virtual movement, 
simultaneously as you say and speak your direction. The simple and interactive tools in Jamboard open doors to endless possibilities for our learners to create, collaborate, and communicate. And I hope this video gave you some inspiration and ideas on how to use Jamboard to enhance learning online. If you have any questions, feel free to connect with me on Twitter or Instagram or leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.